Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It is indeed an honor, a pleasure, and a privilege to be here with you today. One of my loves uh, and passions is historical interpretation. One of my favorites is uh, Frederick Douglass. When we stand together, we can overcome all obstacles. He continually reinvented himself and spread the word of freedom, uh, justice, equality, dignity, integrity. These are things that are embedded in his writings, in his thoughts. Thank you so much. Genesee Country Village and Museum is a place where you can come and see history brought to life. Forward and honor. We really pride ourselves on our interpretive staff and the stories that they tell and the opportunities that people have when they come here as visitors to learn more about who lived in a building or who ran a shop or what our blacksmith would have done. So almost everything that was made from metal would have been handmade. We know that the stories that we tell are really informative and interesting to our visitors, but there are so many more that we could tell by actually getting the chance to interact with someone who portrays Frederick Douglass or who can talk about Native American cultures during the Maple Sugar Festival. So to give people more of what they know us for, more of the great interpretation and bringing history to life. We came out here today to really tell a, a side of history that isn't really told. We are looking really to add more programs that do that, add more interpretation that talks about those stories, but also to make ourselves more welcoming to visitors of differing abilities and be um, a little more inclusive in the types of programs that we offer and the audiences that those are appealing to. Well, welcome back to 1848. This is where you came for everything. As a teacher, I wanted to share the history of our area most museums offer uh, exhibits where the kids can look and maybe hear a recording. Here at the museum, they have interpreters. So the students are able to interact one-on-one -on -one and be able to play, honestly, with the exhibits that they have. Not every child has the right skills to learn from a book or just hearing something that someone says or just seeing a picture or photograph of something that happened in the past. Here at the museum, they get a chance to be part of history. Well, as the oxygen comes up through the coals, it makes the fire hotter. It's also important that our staff have the chance to learn and grow and understand these stories as well. So we're looking for the opportunity to reach out to some other museums, understand what they do, and uh, be able to bring that back and, and inform our entire staff. At first they didn't believe that he was an enslaved person. A lot of history is either uh, not taught anymore or folks are not remembered or either skimmed over. Many people will skim over, oh, I already know about, I've heard of Frederick Douglass, I've heard of Harry Tubman, but there's a lot to, uh, there's a lot underneath those layers. Now this gets lowered. It would be an eye opener. It would be a, an attraction, uh, an unveiling of uh, stories that were hidden or obscured or not taught in schools. It's our right and our responsibility to share those stories and pass them down. Over at the Hosmer Inn, this museum goes above and beyond and, uh, to make uh, sure that they're travelers. reaching they're everyone and every child. Forward. And I don't think that's something that we do enough. So to be able to have this funding means that another child is able to have that hands-on experience that otherwise they would not be available to them at all. I see this really as an important next step for us. We are really looking at this as a chance to um, illuminate untold stories from Western New York. So we know that there are all kinds of different folks who would have lived in this area and to add those stories to what we do. So really to try to illuminate those and bring them to light, but also to be more welcoming to visitors of varying abilities. I have a lot of moments where I look around and I say, wow, this is a pretty amazing place. It really makes you realize why what we do is so important and the impact that it's having on another generation and why we need to, to continue what we're doing and continue to make sure that we're doing it right. Thank you so much. I'm really proud of where we've come over the last few years and I think this is a great next step for us to to look at being more relevant and inclusive and continuing to grow and to thrive.